Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about dependency property, why we are going to use it, what's the benefit and what is a dependency property. So uh, first we'll start with what is a dependency property. So what exactly is the dependency property? So as the name suggests, dependency property is not a property by itself but it is dependent on another property or it is linked with another CLL property. So whenever we are using a dependency property in our WPF or CLL application, we have to remember we are not using that property directly but we are using something that is linked. I mean that is another CLL property that is linked to our dependency property. So uh, why we are going to change or why we are going to use the dependency property? So there are few things we have to remember that is you know value change notification we can use data binding with it and we also can do animation we can do a validation and there is also <coughs> property change inheritance so these are all the features which are going to be used in dependency property so i mean uh, yes that is confusing but what is the actual benefit of using a dependency property how we are going to use the dependency property so let's start uh, mainly whenever we are going to talk about dependency property it will be either we are going to use it either with a custom control or a user control mostly mostly whenever we are talking about a dependency property we are going to either use it with a sealer pro uh, sorry uh, custom control or we are going to use it with a user control so uh, let's start right now so uh, right now this is my WPF application as you can see so right now I will just try to take you know a list box okay list box now I will give it a name okay uh, my list box okay and I will give a height of 100 width of uh, let's say 200 all right so i have my list box on the screen right now so let's have another button button so we are going to have a x name go to my button height is 100 uh, we don't need 100 here let's say 50 and weight is sorry let's weight is 100 and uh, I will say command okay so what does exactly it does whenever i'm going to uh, click on that button it will fire something it, it will do some action so i'll say uh, click command okay yep. so that's it that's done so uh, i think both are overlapping we'll just try to you know move things around so uh, here is my button here is my list box okay so uh, that's all right now I have given a command to my button but I also want to do something when you know uh, the selection chains whenever I select a item from my list box and I just change the selection I want something to happen I want to bind a command to my list box also so let's try that wow but we are not having any command to the list box and i mean there is no property called command wow so what we are going to do in this case so let's have a look uh, uh, here uh, for both button and you know uh, our list box so if we will go to button and we will navigate to the definition we can see uh, you know we 
the button is coming from the button base okay and button base has a property called command okay yes it has a property called command so we are able to have the command property when we are trying to bind with the button but in case of the list box okay we don't have do we have that so it's coming from list box list box is a selector selector is atoms control and you know if we will navigate in that way just do it yourself uh, so you can find it out that list box is a selector and selector doesn't have you know uh, a command property so uh, what i'm going to do but i want to use i want to do you know whenever my selection change happens i want to do something so in this scenario we are just going to take create a custom control which it will be helpful for demonstrating our dependency property so for this i'm going to add a new class okay so i will say this my custom list box okay all right so my custom list box i want it to be a items control i mean uh, I, I i i want to create a custom control which should be a list box so i'm going to have all the properties of a list box so i'm just going to have i'm going to you know uh, list box yep so we are going to just resolve yep so okay that's all right so now okay now what we are going to do so this is our class which is inheriting from this box so custom list box is a custom control so inside this custom control we are going to create a dependency property so uh, what is the you know syntax for dependency property so it will be public it will be static it will be read only okay and the type of dependency property so the, uh, oh, okay so i think it's we have to yep we have to just using equals to then uh, sorry we have to give it give it a name so the ideal naming convention is give your property name then just add property to it so command property we are going to just call it command property right and we are going to talk about uh, dependency property dot register we are not going to use register as we are just going to use register so uh, what should be the name so as we have seen whenever we are creating a dependency property it's a good idea to have the name you know divided into two two things one is the property name and the second part is you know just the property so we will just copy this name we will say okay register with command property so we'll just go to the command property after 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 a moment so what is the type of uh, type of property which what we want to which type we want to be our property so uh, in this case we want to have a command which is of type i command so we will just say sorry type of i command again i think we have to reserve the name space yep okay and what is the type of owner here so the type of the owner is uh, in here 
this class is the owner so we will say custom list box okay and uh, the last thing is property metadata we can we can pass a lot of things in the property metadata but for this demo just for creating a simple dependency property i'm going to pass it as a null okay so yes this is our dependency property now we are creating a dependency property named command property we are registering with a property called command which is of type i command and the owner who should own this is the custom list box super so we are saying dependency property dot register command with command so where exactly is this property what is this what is this so this command is a normal cln property so we have not created it yet but we are going to create it now <coughs> so excuse me so right now what we are going to say uh, i command okay and we will give it a name same as we say in the register okay so this is our cln property okay so uh, obviously we'll have get and set we will just do one by one get and set so in get what we are going to say is return a type of a command okay and yes uh, so we will say get value get value what exactly it expects is get value expects a dependency property right so uh, yes our command property is a dependency property so we are going to just pass it over here all right okay so what's the next statement uh, it's saying you know set so we are going to call the set value okay what it expects the first one should be a dependency property so we are going to pass our command property and the second one is the value so let's say the value all right yep so this is our dependency property sorry i have to give a call in here yep so um let's build it so it's taking up a little bit of time to building it it should compile well yep so build succeeded now <coughs> So we have a custom list box, which we are going to use in our channel. Okay, so we have this. We saw our list box, which you know. Uh, uh, we let's move it here. <coughs> let's create another list box. No, we are going to create this time the custom list box. So in order to create the custom name uh, list box, we have to <coughs> reference to the XML namespace. Uh, our is extension. So um, no, just just give me a moment, please. Okay, so uh, sorry so we'll just try to you know uh, refer to the namespace so we will say xml namespace and we will just say our custom equals to so we'll see uh, clr okay uh, extensions i'm not getting the intelligence so let's do one thing we will just uh, type it out namespace uh, and the namespace is here is our namespace so it's dependency property dot extensions okay and let's come back to our jaml provided the value so this is our serial namespace so hope it works let's build it once
yes it's uh, compelling file so now let's do it instance so uh, we'll come here we'll say custom or uh, custom with uh, help me with this custom is with okay name equal to my custom list box we are going to use height weight and everything ok so it's left top right and button so we will say from button just say okay so this is normal so now let's the moment I said see I have a command here now I can bind something you know I can bind a command to the you know command now okay and I can actually do whatever I want to do I mean no no props at all if I want to I mean whatever I want to do on the click of the button if I want to do the same thing using uh, when the list box selection change have been so this is going to work perfectly fine so this is what we need to do we, why we are going to create a dependency property so we are going to create a dependency property so that we can use it with a user control or a custom control mostly we are going to use the dependency property in the same way so the advantage we can have binding as we can see you know see we can use the binding with the dependence property command here is the dependence property and we have used binding we can use animation we can use property change notification we can use change callback and there are a lot of things we can do with the dependency property see uh, it is pretty simple right now this is a dependency property so we are able to you know uh, we are able to uh, I mean we can assign a value and it will take that but if we are going to just create a custom I mean normal sealer property and try to bind a value to it just try it yourself and you will see it's not going to compile so right now we are not uh, you know uh, we have just created a custom control and we have assigned a dependency property it it's working fine so uh, we are not going to see this in action we are going to see this in action in our next demo which will be covering the attach property uh, this is similar to the dependency property so we are going to say how whenever we are going to change the source or whenever we are going to change the you know uh, selection when there is a selection item change how we are going to fire the command so in the next demo in our attach property we are going to have a look on that and also we are going to you know talk about relay command mvvm so stay tuned so most probably we are going to cover uh, all the things in more details in our next video Thank you for watching. Have a good day.